Hello. In today's tutorial, we're going to cover creating a parametric design using the FreeCAD GUI. In order to do this, you create a spreadsheet, but I've created a macro to make this a lot easier to maintain. Uh, I'm going to start by closing my start page because I don't want to have that to deal with later. And I'm going to run this macro that I've created. Now, to install a macro, you have to identify the macro directory and in that you copy the file in my case it's settings uh, settingsheet.py into that directory and you can click execute and it will run now it's also possible using the tools customize to add it to the toolbars and here I've done it because I feel that this is something I'm going to use all of the time um, so it's on my global toolbar and now that I have it established, I'll use the example from my guide for the uh, creating a ring. And I know from there I have the properties of the radius, the height, and the width. We're going to call the object ring, and we're going to give it a radius of 10, a height of 3, and a width of 2. With that all done, all we need to do is click on the macro again that creates the settings for us or I should say the rate uh, the aliases to the settings and we are ready to start our design so let's go to the part click on a cylinder give it a name we'll call it ring base click into its radius property on the FX button settings dot r and now you can see that all the uh, settings that have been defined so we'll say ring radius from the ring and radius column naming one inner accepts that one inner presses ok do the same thing for height settings dot ring height and now, in order to see it, I'm going to tile my windows and click in this one, press the letters VF to center it, and rotate the view so you can see that, yes, we're looking at a solid cylinder. Now, I'm going to take a copy of this one, so I could have said Control C. No, I do not want to copy the dependencies. That would create another spreadsheet. I don't want that. And I want to paste that or Control V give it a name because I'm going to cut it out. I'll call it ring cut. And now I will change its radius pressing the FX button to subtract the width And if I take the two of these, make a cut, the ring is complete. Rename this to ring example and save it. I have myself a parametric ring. Change the ring radius to 13. Instantly see it change. It changed both the ring base and the ring cut. That's exactly what you're looking for. This enables you to do very complex designs inside the GUI, uh, create a property sheet to add a new property, like let's say I wanted to uh, say position. And uh, I should say, let's say I wanted to move it on the Y position. So I want a single parameter. Uh, I can say ring Y. And let's put it at... Uh, 10. Okay, that just adds a new parameter. I might want to do ring X and put that at 10. You can put as many as you want, but when you uh, have added any new properties that you want, you again click on the button that makes them properties. You will see that yes indeed they've now been added, ring X, ring Y. In this case it's a single value name 
So each line can be put together as long a list as you want. I could put another object down here simply by leaving a blank line. Um, really easy to add things in. Now if I wanted to actually apply this, I can go to Ring Example. And in my placement, I can change this to settings. Ring X. And settings. Ring Y. And now we can move it around quite simply. Change that. Everything changes. It moves the object. So it's easy to add additional parameters, uh, hook them into your design, and if you make a mistake, I believe Control Z. No, nope, I guess not. Okay, well that was not a cell that mattered anyway. Okay, anyway, so yes, you can use the cells outside of the uh, definition, like any cell over here, if you want to add more things. It ends when it sees a blank cell. It ends when it sees three blank rows. So this is effectively the size of the actual area that's processed. I think that about covers everything I can think of for this. Um, good luck with your parametric designs. I hope this helps. I wished I had had this when I first started.